Not everything was perfect for Nick Saban's squad though, as the team struggled to field punts and saw quarterback Jalen Hurts toss his first interception of the year. Of course, it's not like it really mattered in the end, as the signal caller finished with 155 yards and a touchdown through the air, and another 41 yards and a score on the ground in a runaway. Perhaps the biggest development for the Tide was the tailback Damian Harris might start to get a little Heisman love going forward. He started the game by ripping off a 75-yarder to the house for the second straight time and wound up with 125 yards and two scores on the ground all told. Harris did make a trip to the injury tent late in the second half, but it's possible he could have returned had the score not been out of hand. Either way, backups were in fairly early in the second half to spell the starters. Razorbacks quarterback Cole Kelly did what he could in making his first starting place a Boston Allen, but it's not exactly easy to face this Alabama defense. The big gun Slinger passed for an even 200 yards with an interception and a TD, but was pressured on just about every drop back and took five sacks. It would have helped if he had a running game to lean on, but Debu Wally could muster just 18 yards on five carries against that tough front seven.